stairs. <laughs> but look out there now. You can see the ocean glowing in the darkness. And the great campfires, too. And the moon. What do you want? I'll give you anything that's out there in the world of darkness. The ocean. With its cold waves rubbing against the shore, trying to include everything into itself, <laughs> trying to make everything as black and as cold as it is and as beautiful. The fires. Which flicker and stop and then reappear again somewhere else at the distance, always hungry too disappearing and reappearing all through the night and all through our lives. The moon. But the moon is, is death itself. It's where the oceans and the fires combine. All those for me. All of them. I will give you anything that's out there in the world of darkness. I think I see people walking there in the darkness. No, forget about them. They're nothing. Vague animal shapes who don't know how to die. Here, just look out there again. All it is is Troilus and Cressida and the ocean and the fire and the moon. But what's the matter? I mean, I hope you don't mind me speaking this way. It's just that it makes me feel afraid sometimes. Well, well not of death, but because I just I can't feel the same way towards you that you feel towards me. Well. No two people ever do. I mean, people love differently. I don't love you more than you love me. I love you differently. I mean, you don't love or you don't measure love in bushel baskets. You watch it in shapes. There's no question of more. I see you thought a lot about this. It must have bothered you. Okay, get this. Is a lion more? than an eagle. Lions and eagles aren't lovers. Look, look Troilus, I don't want to spoil things. I just feel guilty that I can't love you enough. Okay, forget this. The lions, while the lion is... <laughs> no, 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 don't start talking to me about lions and eagles again. I've told you what I wanted to say. <sighs> yeah, let's just throw rocks. <laughs> Let's throw rocks at the moon. <laughs> at my moon? Just look at your moon up there, how big and bare it is, and fat enough to include everything that has ever died. And we are throwing rocks at it. Well, like call them honey cakes. Well, we discovered a whole new continent of the dead up there, a whole new Hades. Well, what about the souls? Well, We'll find them. But look, I'm Looney Hades, Lord of the Moon Dead, and you're my Persephone, my ravished bride. And where was I kidnapped? Well, from the other side of the moon. <laughs> you and I are the king and queen of the dead. Well, what, what, what will we do now that Hades has taken over? Well, he can keep most of the dead. <laughs> All that we want are those who have died in the moonlight. Aim those honey cakes straight, my Persephone. If I'm to be Persephone, those had better be pomegranate seeds. <laughs> Isn't death wonderful? from you because there's nothing anyone can do about it. Cressida, she's been exchanged. 
What? For Antinor, the Greeks offered the trade yesterday and father accepted it immediately. I couldn't stop him. The old bastard! He probably cooked this whole thing up himself. Well, simple, you can tell him she won't go. I'm afraid she'll have to. Look, Troilus, none of us like this very much, but there's really nothing anyone can do about it. I'll be coming for her in a few minutes. Well, I'll be damned if they take her. Tell father that if he wants her, he's got to come here himself. Tell him to bring a sword. Nobody's doing this out of spite, Troilus. Antinor's your brother, too. Yeah, tell me about it. You don't care how many brothers are killed for your woman. I knew you'd say that. Do you think I wanted to come here and tell you something like this? I did everything but fall down on my knees and plead with Father. Just nothing anyone can do. But why don't you get out of here, you slimy bastard? Troilus! What did you do to him? Troilus! Troilus! What did you do to him? I'm afraid it's Mother again. Venus must have thought I was being attacked. God, that means she's watching and enjoying this whole scene. Troilus, look. None of us wants this to happen. It's just one of those things. <laughs> when Cressida sees couches, she can convince him that she really wants to stay here, right, in Troy, right? And then she, she can come back here, and then we'll have both Antinor and Cressida. Isn't that right, Anise? Maybe. <laughs> Well, I guess I better go tell Cressida. She knows. She knows? We told her late yesterday afternoon. She didn't want to tell you and spoil your last evening together. She knew. She felt about, as bad about it as you do, but she knew there just wasn't anything anyone could do about it. Don't worry, she'll be able to persuade Calchas to let her go back. He just doesn't understand. Knew. Well, I was afraid to tell you. Gentlemen, will you allow me a moment alone, lady? Now, I always wonder how a person felt. What a person would say at a time like this. That's why I didn't want to tell you last night, Troilus. One part of me wants to cry, and another part of me wants to kill. Can't we do anything? No. Should I cry? No. <laughs> My mind keeps swinging back and forth. Look, you think that you can convince Father to actually come back, don't you? Well, you know how he is. I, I don't know. Look, you can force him into it. It's refuse to eat and all that. Make him cry. <laughs> yeah? I'll write you letters every day. All you need is courage. Anyone can do anything as long as they have courage. I mean, everyone says that. <laughs> yeah. You'll write me and tell me what's happening, and then I'll write you, and I'll give you advice and <coughs> Yeah. You no, know, everything I say sounds false and clumsy. I don't even know how I feel. But can't you cry? I cried before I saw you last night. <laughs> Look, you'll try to come back. I mean, really? Believing that you can be strong enough to do it? Yeah. All that? Yeah. I'll help you. I'll write to you. Charles. 